tutorial we're going to generate the art for NFT Minter project and we're going to use that Welcome everyone. so in this tutorial we're going to generate the art using hash lips for our NFT Minter project so first you're going to clone our hash ships repo we've parked and modified this specifically for this tutorial and once you finish cloning that you're going to run NMP, npm install which i've done already then once you're done i'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough um, the main file that we'll be working in is really this config file and here you can put the prefix of your nft a description we're going to come back to this base URI and we're going to look at the layer configurations object. This correlate with this layers folder here and whatever layers you put first comes last. So we have a background and then our planets will be on our background and then our logos will be on top of our planets. And then if you notice in this folder, you see a hashtag and a number. So the lower the number, the more rare that trait is, the higher the number, um, the more common that trait is. So we can see it here. So having planet Earth is very rare and having a galaxy is rare. And then we're just gonna look at some other objects in here as well. And we can use a hashtag for a rarity delimiter. And then notice that each of your image is 1500 by 1500 in resolution. And then I'm just going to open up some layers here so you see what this looks like. So these are our backgrounds. This is a logo that will be on top. And notice each is 1500 by 1500 transparent. These can also be SVGs. And then these get stacked on top of each other and these gets generated. So once you're happy with your layers, you know, please use your own layers here. Uh, then we're going to run npm run build. And notice a build folder is getting created here in real time. Let's click on these folders and we can see what got outputted. So there we go. And then notice as well, there's a JSON folder here. And we're just going to open this file. And notice it's asking for a CID for each image. So we're going to get that CID from Pinata and the CID is a content ID. And you can see in this metadata file, it's like it's um, all our object uh, key pair values, like background, planet, logo. So let's go to hash lips and upload our, let's go to Pinata and upload our artwork. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload all the images found in our um, in our images folder that just got generated in the build. So wherever that folder is located for you, we're going to go and it's going to hit upload. It says we're going to only upload three files. Yes, and this is important. We're going to name this Cadena images. Give it a second. Pinotic, um could be slow at times and you may not see it appear right away here. And it's really the IPFS network, it's slow. So now this is our content ID and we're gonna click on this right here. And if we go in this images folder, we just click on an image and again, Pinata, their gateways can be slow. You can use Cloudflare as an alternative. You see, this is our, the folder uh, content ID. And then here we have one that PNG. Two, we're going to see the same content ID and two that PNG. And we're going to use this to load in to our metadata for our NFT. And so to do that, we're going to go back here. We're going to config. And we're going to paste the content ID that we just kept, got. And then you may wonder, well, how do we update this metadata with this new content ID? Well, there's a command for that. It's npm update, npm run, update, underscore info. So just hit that. 
I notice a change that for us. And if you want to know where this update info is located, it's in utils folder, update info. So now if we click on metadata, we see all our images actually have this new content ID. And if we actually click on these, it will go to the image. And sometimes again, please be aware that it may not always load. So you see, there we go. And now the next step is we're also just going to upload our metadata. And that's going to be in this JSON file, and we're going to hit upload. And this is important. We're going to call this Cadena metadata, and we're going to hit upload. And again, give it a second. If it doesn't refresh, there we go. You notice now our metadata has this unique content ID. And then if we open this folder, we have our metadata JSON. This is going to be important for when we are going to deploy our smart contract and also doing our minting. So that's all. So just to recap, in this lesson, we downloaded and set up Hashlips Art Engine. We've generated our artwork and we've set up our layers. And then we've uploaded that artwork to Pinata. And we've updated, uh, we've uploaded our metadata to Pinata. And the next lesson, we're going to set up our smart contract. And then right after that, we're going to set up our DAP to allow others to mint.